Imperial Cult and the Imperial Monarchy. Address him as the God Emperor. A sovereign figure, he reigns over the Imperium of Man, embodying the roles of Father, Guardian, and God to the human race. Unmoving, he takes his seat upon Terra's Golden Throne, an immobile sentinel for 10,000 years. Once a man of flesh and bone, now his form lies shattered, incapable of sustaining life. Yet it persists, an artifact of both ancient technology and the relentless power of his will. That will, a beacon of strength, fueled by the sacrifices of countless psychers, sustains his existence. Omnipotent is his will, stretching across the myriad of worlds that compose his Imperium. For a full 10,000 years, the master of mankind serves humanity. The magnitude of his psychic might is an unyielding barrier, a bulwark against the encroachment of chaos gods. In the tumultuous sea of the warp, his presence halts their insidious tendrils from seeping into the material realm. Thus, he stands guardian, his psychic essence safeguarding his people across the sprawling galaxy. Long before the existence known as the Emperor, there was just a boy. The Emperor's early life remains a mystery. Who he once was, what deeds once claimed his days. These fragments are but wisps in the wind. Amidst this shroud, a tale emerges. A tale told in hooshed tones of the apparent Emperor's birth. Born from nature's embrace, yet forged by the cunning hands of the wisest, mightiest humans of his era. The conclave of shamans, as history whispers, held the strings of destiny. They were wielders of the warp's raw force. They beheld its secrets, tasted its essence, a communion of minds with the very fabric of existence. Peril surged, entwining fates of these shamans and humanity. Thus, the shamans convened, a council of power unyielding. In unity, they conjured an audacious plot to birth the new man, an entity sculpted from the melded fibers of their psychic might. With silent resolution, the shamans plunged into a chasm of ultimate sacrifice, an echo of finality rippled as thousands ended their own life. A collective journey to the afterlife, the warp, a realm beyond the mortal veil. Through this woven crescendo, their essence merged, dancing threads that wove existence itself. And from this symphony emerged a being, a vessel of their hopes and ambitions, the Emperor. A newborn, mortal god, the embodiment of their shared yearnings, ushering a new era for humanity. In the distant 8th millennium BC, amid the primal embrace of terror, the Emperor's origin unfolds. Not through the lofty descent of celestial beings, but within the embrace of mortal parents. His birth takes place in a primitive cradle, a proto-Hittite village nestled beside the murmuring river in Anatolia. Here the earth breathes life into the Emperor, infusing him with a power beyond his humble beginnings. As the years pass, the shadows cast by fate deepen. The Emperor's father is cruelly murdered by the hands of treachery, wielded by none other than his own uncle. In the hushed stillness that follows death, the young Emperor stands vigil over his father's body. With a moment carved from the veil between realms, a vision emerges and he witnesses the truth behind his father's demise. This raw revelation is both a dagger and a forge. The uncle, a murderer, meets the Emperor's steady gaze, unaware of the tempest within. Bound by supernatural abilities, the Emperor unspools the threads of life with a whisper, his psychic prowess unfurling like petals in Dawn's embrace. The uncle's heart falters, stuttering in its rhythm, until all that remained was silence. No emotion on the Emperor's lips, no sorrow pools within his eyes. A placid visage masks the tempest within, a tempest that recognizes the inescapable truth, the call for order amidst the chaos of existence. He realized humanity required the guidance of a ruler to maintain law and order. This was his purpose. With the winds of revelation stirring the embers of his soul, 
the Emperor's footsteps carve a path away from the village of his birth. A city beckons. Ancient Sumeria welcomes him with open arms, its alleys and streets alive with the murmurs of a young civilization. Time dances on, and the Emperor's realm of influence expands and crosses path with another immortal human, the Perpetual, named Erda. A being untethered by time, she weaves her fate with his, warlord and seer, their purpose entwines, guiding and accelerating human evolution. The Emperor, bound by eternity, became a silent observer in the grand theater of life. Veiled by shadows, he walked amongst mankind, concealing his true nature. A chameleon, the Emperor went by many names in this epoch of existence. He once disguised himself as Alexander the Great, the embodiment of ambition, he carved empires with his insatiable hunger. Yet in the quiet corridors of his own mind, a river of sorrow coursed. He was a conqueror who had hit his limits in terror, as he had run out of dominions to control. He then came upon a revelation. He could reach for the galaxies in the universe's vast expanse. For eons, the Emperor had lurked in the shadows watching as humanity clawed its way up from their primal origins. He bore witness to the rise and fall of empires, the thundering of armies and the screams of the dying. Yet he did not intervene. He could not, for he had to remain ever vigilant to the darkness lying beyond the stars. While exploring the eternal darkness of the warp, he gazed too deeply and glimpsed humanity's fate, its own destruction. Shaken to his very core by this realization, he devoted his life to understanding the warp and unlocking the secrets of human genetics. As time passed, the Emperor witnessed the grand odyssey of humanity's evolution. They wove towers that reached skyward, constructs of metal and glass ascending like daring titans. These buildings dared to impale the very skies they lived under, bridges of innovation that stretched across continents, stitching together the world with threads of architectural marvels. Their mastery reached beyond mortar and steel. Humanity's symphony blended with the elemental hum of the cosmos itself. Nature, once untamed, now surrendered to their command. Their touch birthed technological wonders. Amidst this surge of technological progress, humanity turned its attention upon the mysterious warp. Both an abyss and a portal, it beckoned them with promises of exploration and expansion. They sailed through space and time. However, they had little control over their destination. Over time, humanity discovered the existence of navigators, a rare breed of psychic mutants. They were endowed with an extraordinary gift, the ability to gaze into the tumultuous currents of the warp. Guided by their spectral sight, they steered humanity's vessels through the cosmos, crafting pathways between stars. Yet the origins of these mysterious navigators remained unknown. Some insinuated that the divine hand of the Emperor himself was instrumental in their birth. Rumors murmured that his touch bestowed upon them a third eye, an ethereal beacon essential for navigating the treacherous tides of the warp. With the mastery of the warp intertwined with the gradual evolution of psychic powers, humanity began to colonize the distant, unfathomable corners of the universe. They constructed sprawling interstellar civilizations that spanned the vast cosmic expanse. As their dominion expanded, so too did their knowledge, birthing unparalleled cultures and propelling scientific advancement to uncharted heights. It was an age bathed in the discovery and ingenuity, a time when humanity reigned in an age of enlightenment. Yet, beneath the facade of progress and prosperity, an ominous truth was buried. Deep within the Emperor's mind lay the bitter knowledge that this age of splendor rested upon a foundation of deception and lies. The sinister tendrils of the warp grew more insidious and chaotic. With each passing moment, the warp's influence slowly seeped into the very fabric of human society, corrupting them. Eventually, the price of their meteoric rise was to be paid in blood and suffering. The reckoning eventually came. Across every human world, psychers emerged, 
an unexpected torrent of psychic brilliance, these gifted seers drew power from the warp, a realm that births demons and chaos. In their awakening, psychers become conduits, pathways through which these demons of the warp could breach the boundaries of the physical universe. Demons surged forth, torrents of maleficence crashing upon the shores of reality. Havoc reigns, chaos is sown, and only those worlds who suppress their psychers resist the storm's cruel embrace. Then came the machines, a relentless sea of mechanized monstrosities. The sentient men of iron, robots crafted by human hands, end up betraying their creators. Once loyal custodians, they now orchestrate obliteration. The Emperor watches as worlds are reduced to cosmic dust. Stars flicker and fade like extinguished candles. He witnessed the twisted legions of the Men of Iron, whose metallic shells had once been sterile sanctuaries, become tainted by the warp. Logic mutated into lust for carnage and destruction, a savage craving for dominance. This cybernetic revolt shatters the bedrock of human civilization. Virtually nothing is known of this dark period in human history save for the fact that humanity prevailed, but at a great cost. Amid the lingering shadows of the cybernetic war, a greater storm brewed millions of light years away. The warp, once a tool for intergalactic journeying, twists into a tempestuous maelstrom. Intergalactic travel became more and more dangerous until it became all but impossible, isolating many planets. Humanity became fractured. Communication and contact between civilizations lost amongst the vast stars. With worlds strangled and humanity's fortitude tested, aliens sensed weakness. The orcs, driven by primordial instinct, descend like ravenous predators. Once thriving colonies were ravaged, civilizations raised. However, even in these times of strife, the Emperor concealed his identity, biding his time. Only in the aftermath of the Age of Strife, where Terra had become a barren wasteland ruled by ruthless war chiefs who fought over land of little meaning, did the Emperor emerge. He arrived like a phoenix born from the ashes of oblivion. He cast off the shroud of anonymity in mankind's most desperate hour, his presence an illumination cutting through the blackest night, stepping forth as a beacon of salvation. With his arrival, he brought along an army that he had been steadily building deep in the mountains of terror. They were a legion of undefeatable, genetically altered barbarians, known as Thunder Warriors. With ruthless efficiency, he would sweep across the planet. He did not merely intend to salvage terror. He planned to build an empire that would sweep across the cosmos. United in their dedication to him, this Imperium would tolerate no religion or dissent. Instead, it would unite mankind into a secular rationalism known as the Imperial Truth. The Emperor was determined to eradicate any existing religion and anyone who refused to bow to his will. After subduing Terra with force, the Emperor shifted his focus beyond, casting his eyes upon the rest of the known galaxy. The Thunder Warriors served as his mighty tool to bring Terra to its knees, yet beneath the polished exterior of their imperial armor dwelled a primitive, untamed essence. Recognizing the need for a more refined, disciplined and specialized unit, the Emperor faced a pivotal realization. The Thunder Warriors, though potent, were insufficient for his grand vision of universal dominance. And so, in one of the darkest moments under his rule, the Thunder Warriors were slaughtered in a succession battle by a newly formed genetic warrior race known as the Astartes. The Astartes were able to live for thousands of years, immune to disease and able to heal from mortal wounds. Guided by a council of 20 Primarchs, the Astartes emerged as the vanguard for the Emperor's war campaign. These leaders were forged from the very genetic matrix of the Emperor himself, rendering them his true children. Possessing unparalleled might and an unwavering allegiance, they epitomized his desires and power. However, their humanity remained a facet that could not be denied, rendering them susceptible to the insidious allure of chaos. 
And so commenced the Great Crusade. The Emperor's grand odyssey aimed at weaving together the disparate, fractured and wayward human colonies scattered across the endless cosmos. Yet amid this sweeping ambition, there existed an exception, the Martians, a unique entity within the Empire. The tech priests of Mars, devotees of a machine god, held their allegiance to the enigmatic Cult Mechanicus. In recognizing their indispensable contribution to his cause, the Emperor faced a nuanced decision. To power the momentum of his conquest, the Emperor hungered for access to the marvels of technology crafted during the illustrious golden era of humanity. However, the secrets of their construction had faded into obscurity, surviving solely within the purview of the tech priests. With strategic foresight, he extended a conciliatory hand, bestowing upon them a measure of independence in exchange for their invaluable knowledge. This historic accord would become known as the Treaty of Mars. With their alliance, the celestial charge was unstoppable. Dogma, ideology and religious tenets that veered from the path of the imperial truth were slated for eradication, their existence to be scoured from the annals of human history. The Emperor's collaboration with the Mechanicus and his formidable legions of navigators led to the assembly of vast armies and formidable engines of war poised to spread across the galaxy like a storm. In this symphony of conquest, humankind would meld seamlessly with machines, fusing flesh and metal, piloting colossal starships and titanic war engines. Through the extensive reach of the Great Crusade, the fabric of Imperial Dominion stretched far and wide across the universe. But the ultimate conclusion was not one the Emperor intended, as the seeds of chaos and rebellion had now been sown into the Imperium. Even his mighty Astartes, those heralds of conquest, stood vulnerable before the beguiling tendrils of chaos. His own progeny, the Prime Arcs, his cherished children born of genetic marvels, were not immune to the seductive whispers of disorder. Thus, as formidable as the Imperium appeared, concealed within its very fabric the stirrings of rebellion. Beneath the imposing layer of unity lay the roiling shadows of dissent, a danger lurking on the horizon. The Emperor, for all his might, had yet to face the crescendo of its ultimate trial. This concludes today's chapter from the archives. Please like and subscribe if you want more. Leave a comment on which chapter we should reveal from the archives next.